could be eternal lasting riches for your family. It says in the Bible, a man lays up an inheritance for his children. A good man lays up an inheritance for his children. Are you going to be a good man? Are you going to start that business today? Or are you going to sit there, a little slack, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands, a little folly, a little messing around, doesn't lead to anything. I'm telling you today, stop consuming and start creating. May I submit to you today that it is easier to consume than it is to create. See, God created us in His image. God said, let's make man in our image. God made us with some of his creative power in him. And it's very interesting because I find that we're in a consumer age. I find we're in an age where we can just go online and consume for hours, feed our dopamine channels, and feel good. It's easy to consume, but it's hard to create. Have you ever thought about creating a brand? Have you ever thought about creating a YouTube channel? Have you ever thought about creating a business? What have you thought of creating in the past a little bit? And why haven't you started? See, what I'm here to do is challenge your opinions. See, what I'm here to do is change the norm. I want to shake things up. I want to put things in your mind so that we can start creating a group and a community of people who want to do the same thing. So while I plug this for a quick sec, go down below and hit the subscribe button. Join a community of us today. It's the Self-Improvement Lab community where a group of individuals all coming together to strive for one thing and that's success. You'd be very surprised at how much you lack a community because when I tell you that when one person gets better, the next person gets better. And if you want to join a community today where we all succeed and are executing on success, join the Self-Improvement Lab community down below. It costs you nothing. You don't have to pay. So don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Go down below and hit the subscribe button to join the Self-Improvement Lab community. Look around the room for a quick sec. Look to your left and look to your right, look up and look down. Everything in that room, wherever you're at, it doesn't matter if you're at work watching this video, at home, at the campground, wherever you're at, everything was created with imagination. So why is your imagination any different? I truly do believe that we've been fed this lie that our imagination is nothing. You know, I grew up with this idea that I looked at people who created things, Steve Wozniak, Steve Jobs, even though we'll put them in the same thing, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, all these people who created incredible things were different than me because for some reason I was a grasshopper in a giant's world. It's not until you realize that you're a giant in a giant's world that you ever realize that you have the same creative power they did. The one thing that separates you from them is this big word on screen, courage. The courage that you had to go out there and create something. Courage is gonna stem from many things, but one thing you need to do if you wanna create something is have the courage to go out and do it. You think it's easy for me to go out in public with a camera and a microphone and say things to people and face the rhetoric of what have people have to say behind my back about certain things? No, but I have the courage to step into it because I know I can do it. I consume this content online for years. I consume people going out into public and saying a certain thing, but I knew I could create it. I knew I could do better than certain people. There comes a day where you look at somebody who has success and you realize that there's no way that they should have it. I could be better than them. And I think that's the day that a lot of people are waiting for. And that's the day of a, we're gonna be a rude awakening at some point, and I hope it's not too late for you because it's never too late to create, where you say, how did he gain success? I'm better than him. But one thing that separated you from him is he had the courage to go and do it. Do you have the courage to step into your creative power? Do you have the courage to go and create something? It's so easy to consume. It's so easy to stay on your phone. It's very easy for you to sit there and scroll and scroll and scroll. But may I submit to you today that what you should be doing is going and creating. You behind the screen, you have the potential and I know you have the potential. Why you haven't stepped into it, I don't know. This isn't meaning to come off rude. It's meaning to come off and check you because you have the potential. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for a star? Maybe you have started and you haven't seen the results you want. Keep at it. If that's the case, please keep at it. There's a famous Brian Tracy quote. And the quote goes, if you could do something without failing, what is the one thing you would do? And there's going to be an instantaneous thought in your head that I would do this if I couldn't fail. Chances are, if you could do that without failing, well, then that's the thing that you should probably go after. The thing that comes to my mind is YouTube. I know I could do YouTube without failing, but that's exactly what I'm here doing. I had the courage to step into it and I knew that I couldn't fail. What's the one thing you would do if you couldn't fail? Is it a clothing brand? Is it a detailing business? Is it a restaurant? I don't care what it is, but what's the one thing you would do if you know you couldn't fail? Ask yourself that question. Don't procrastinate. Don't sit there and answer the question and then just do nothing with it. Take a pen, write it down, and today is the day that you start. Step into your purpose. Stop consuming and start creating. It's going to change your life. Today marks the day that we change your life. All with writing something down. Because what stems from an idea could be eternal lasting riches for your family. It says in the Bible, a man lays up an inheritance for his children. A good man lays up an inheritance for his children. Are you going to be a good man? Are you going to start that business today? Or are you going to sit there, a little slack, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands, a little folly, a little messing around, doesn't lead to anything. I'm telling you today, stop consuming and start creating. 